Guys, what is up? Um, hope everybody's well. Today is a very exciting day because we have released the first initial release of Audience Lab, okay? Now, for those that don't know, Audience Lab essentially is a targeting tool that we've been building using our internal identity graph. If you don't know about identity graphs, you're new to this channel, so click below, check out the videos there. But essentially what we've done is we're tracking 270 million people, right? So it's 270 million Americans. Um, let's call it 91, 92% of the US population, right? And their devices. So imagine that, but we're tracking all their behaviors every second, every minute every hour, every day, 24 seven, okay? So it's an accumulation of about 1.9 trillion behaviors that we're tracking across that we found based on keyword searches and things like that. And um, we're tracking on um, actual buyers, right? So we're tracking people that have actually been to websites and people that have actually bought products. And then we built what we call our own taxonomy, which is essentially our own way to segment the data out to say that this person's gonna buy and this person's not gonna buy and this person's in market for this product right so it's super exciting so let me just show you the platform real quick and then i'll show you the use this has all right so i'm gonna head over to audience lab okay you can see me here so really what this it looks pretty you know you're like what is this right it looks pretty overwhelming essentially what we have here is we've got location targeting here we've got age here uh gender here right and um then we've got this whole in-market targeting section here right and i'll show you what that is in a sec then we've got profile targeting right which is um, insanely grand. Like I can target all the people named Jonathan that live in New York, right? And it will give me those people. Okay. So first of all, let's jump into why this is so powerful and the use case this has. All right. So I'm going to head over to Offer Vault. Let's say I'm like an affiliate marketer, or let's say I'm doing, you know, pay per lead and things like that, right? So I'm on here and uh, I just want to look at top offers. So let's just look at the payout with the max payout. So, all right, so let's just do uh, personal injury, right? So if I'm doing personal injury and I want to advertise on Facebook, right? So I'll head over to Facebook. All right, so we're inside of Facebook and let's go down to the targeting, have a look here, right? Of what we are able to use, okay? So I'm looking to target people that need a personal injury lawyer, right? So really my best chance is I just come in here and let's see if I type in personal injury. No, let's do injury. Um, uh, let's just do lawyer and I have this continuous thing. Okay. So we got, what do we got here? So we got law legal services. All right. So if I click here, this is why this is so dangerous. You see, this is basically uh, a audience sample of 777 million people, right? And this is people who express interest or liked certain pages. Okay. So this is actually not what I want. This is what we call um, interest based audience target okay now interest based audience targeting it's based about interest you know what i mean like you know i could like i always use this example just because what comes to mind let's say for an example tony robbins uh for any tony robbins fans i could like his page maybe a year ago right because i think he's a great guy i'm like heck yeah you know somebody invited me right tony robbins page i think tony robbins is great but that doesn't mean i'm gonna buy his stuff right so this is the dilemma we have with not just Facebook, but we're looking at Google, we're looking at TikTok, whatever. It's all just based on interests, okay? Or people that they think might do something based on interests, okay? And it's not a good way to look at it, okay? So what we've done is something a little bit different, right? We've actually accumulated real-time behaviors online and offline of these people to be able to create a database that is updated real-time, right? Um, it's updated real time and then we have buckets that we built out, which we push every 24 hours a day. So we're receiving the data real time, but we update the buckets every 24 hours because otherwise it would be like trying to pin down an audience updated that in real time, wouldn't even download for you, okay? So that is the power of this. So we got, you know, law legal services. So we pretty much dud in terms of that. We'd have to just really, you know, target broad where a lot of our spend is gonna go. So here's what you can do when you got access to the audience lab. So I'm gonna head over to the audience lab, all right? Now, first of all, what I want to do is I'm going to get rid of all these zip codes here, uh, but I can target by zip, any zip code, right? So I can type in any zip code and it's going to give that to me. That includes the ones that are, you know, have nice houses. Um, I'm going to clear that. So I'm just going to do all of US. I'm going to do 18 to 50. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do both uh, male and female. And then I've got this little thing here. Now, this thing is crazy. This is so specific because this is segments, right? This is pre-built segments and buckets of people that have actually been to websites and purchased products and goods and things like that uh, that is updated every 24 hours from a real-time feed. Like if I go here and I'm just typing in, let's look at brand, okay? Look at brand. I can see 
If I go down here, this is people that has actually either purchased Crocs or been on their website and it's become very near to purchasing. This is some people that like the Crocs Facebook page. This is actual buyers, uh, people that have online behavior that shows, hey, this person likes Crocs shoes. This person's pretty into it, right? And it doesn't take a, you know, a data scientist. Ironically, we build this with a data science team, but it doesn't take a, you know, data scientist to realize that, hey, if somebody's on the website and they've actually purchased something, um, maybe that person's, you know, potentially in market, right? And that's how we're able to build out these audience, okay? And ironically, it does take a data science team, but you see what I mean. So what we're going to do is if we're looking at personal injury, I'm going to go down here and you can see here, this is a complete breakdown of all the audiences we have, just so you can see it better. So I'm going to go here. This is all the data we have, okay? So first of all, we've got our own built taxonomy, which is in market. So based on brand, like you can see people that drive, drive a Maserati. And then we've also got keyword data, which is based on keywords that people search on Google and Bing, right? So actually able to see who is searching what, which is just insanity, all right? So let's go to here. And um, just so I can show you the sheer volume of this, I'm gonna go to here and I'm gonna type Haynes. So let's just do personal injury. Boom, all right. So first of all, what I wanna do is I wanna look for personal injury law. So I got two ones here. So let's actually build this in the audience builder. So I'm gonna go into here and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna to go to my in markets, right? Now in market means the person's in market. It means the person we predict is going to buy something based on behaviors that this site, this person has been on, right? Or they've actually, you know, been on that site directly. Okay, so we click on here and this is all people based, remember? So I'm going down here and we're gonna to go to where it says legal and I'm gonna to go to here and I'm gonna look at personal injury. Oh, all right, so hit personal injury done okay now i can head down here and i can go even more granular so i'm gonna get rid of this thing here but i can click on here and i can pick from all these personal parameters to be able to segment my audience so let's say for an example for some reason i wanted to make sure that the person um i was only targeting like a high income audience right so i could go in here and i'll type in income household income that's two equals and s is a sign that i'll show you that in another video but basically we don't do it via we don't just say oh, i want anybody over 250,000. i want people that are s because that means then in that income bracket uh run that and then what we're going to do is we've got this perfect audience here right we're going to run that and we're going to count those records so i'm going to show you an audience that i've already built out and then i'll, go, I'll show you an export of one as well radio okay so we're in the builder here so i was just doing one previously uh, i was actually doing this for a mass tort vertical where I needed to target veterans, right? And if I go to Facebook, uh, you know, I'm gonna have to like find people that have liked veteran pages and things like that. It's really just a needle in the haystack. Where this, I know all the people that are actually registered veterans, right? And I know, then I segmented that based on some behaviors and then I segmented that based on some demographic data. And it gave me a really, really big audience list just here, right? That's gonna take maybe an hour or so to build because um, as you can see, that's a big number. Okay, now here's one that I did earlier. Basically what I did is I, I just looked at anybody whose name was Jonathan. Um, this is just a funny example in certain state, right? So let's have a look at this file. So I'll download that, pops up here and let's upload it. Okay, so I've got my sample here and this is the file, right? This is all the people named Jonathan that are in a certain state, but I can do this for any audience, as you can see. The other one was in, you know, I think it was like something million. It was a lot, right? I'll go back and have a look. So what we have here is we've got the email, we've got the phone, uh, city, all the all the data that you need to get the highest match on any platform, right? So if you're doing this on TikTok, you'll just take this hashed email and take these lines of data and upload that to TikTok and that will target that person. Uh, if you want to do Facebook, you could basically just do first name, last name, email address, phone, um, state, and that will give you a high match rate. Google, you can just do it with a hashed email. Now, I've talked about hashed emails before, but essentially it is just, um, it is like the passport that people use to get to websites. Let's just call it that, okay? So this is a hashed email. It's a non-identifier, which is great because you can use it in any platform. Uh, I would say most accept it. Uh, and you can use that for precision targeting. So I would literally go like this and I'll upload this directly into Facebook. Uh, Facebook allows me to do max about a million records. So I'm gonna do a million and I'll upload that and then I can build lookalikes off that. I can run ads directly to that. And that is going to be a precision audience that I can use. All right, so there you have it. That is the first phases of Audience Lab. This changes the game, guys, because no longer do you have to focus on interests or, you know, just kind of taking a guess if somebody wants to buy something. Now what you can do is you can look at real-time behaviors coming in, it's updated 24 hours a day for these buckets, right? Of a live feed that is updated real-time. Uh, I know that might confuse people, 24 hour buckets, live feed, what have you, but you're gonna be able to target exactly who you want in the right buying cycle and then give them the exact message. So this is powerful. And if you use this with our pixel, 
things just get ridiculous. And that's going to be another video. I believe that's something um, in here, which is talking about feedback loop marketing. So appreciate it, guys. Thank you. We're excited for Audience Lab and uh, excited to see some audiences built in this.